All right, now while we're in the viewport, uh, we've already turned on here under environment map. We can change this. We can go into like, uh, you can change the type of lighting that's coming from. If you want to see the actual environment, all you got to do is go over here to environment opacity, turn down environment blur, and now you can see the actual environment that's lighting this object. So if you want to go in here and you change it to like, here's autumn fall, that's pretty cool looking. This get angst uh, little area is pretty cool. So go through here and uh, pick out your favorite. Here's a nice sunny little villa. Uh, and then again, if you don't, if you like the lighting but you don't want to see that environment, all you got to do is just turn. Uh, you, know, you can turn it blurry again if you want to. Uh, you can also do your environment rotation over here. I hold down shift, and if you hold down shift, you get to see everything. You do a shift and shift right click is rotate your environment. You can also change your environment exposure if you want to turn this uh, brighter or darker. And then this is shadows on and off, which we want to have that on. And then again, uh, if you just want to turn this off completely, you can take this environment opacity and just drop it down to nothing. And while I'm thinking about it, this is one of the, uh, if you go in here to file, open sample, you can get this uh, Jade Toad in here. But uh, while I'm thinking about it, you can bring in your own HDR images. So you're going to see we're kind of capped out here. There's nothing really in here. Uh, however, you can go over here and there is environments in here. And if you do have an HDRI uh, library, which I do, I can go here to environments and they'll say like, backlight JPEG. Let's drag one of these right into environments here. And just like anything else you bring in, you can tell it I want it to come in as an environment. This one, I'm just going to say current session. I'm, I'll, if I want to use it later, uh, I could put it in my shelf or I can keep it in my project whenever I open the project. But I'm just going to like, while I'm in Penner right now, just have it available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and import that. And you can see here's my backlight. So I'm going to just drag this backlight right onto the environment map section. There we go. So now uh, we have this available to us. We can hold down shift and move this around and it should work as expected.